morning and welcome to the channel as you can see i am riding the vulcan 650 possibly the interceptor 650s the super meteor 650s closest rival or is it well let's find out <laughs> we have a meteor 350 also going ahead So while we are at the traffic signal, let's talk about the similarities between uh, the Vulcan 650 and the Super Meteor 650. Both are cruisers, cruiser style motorcycles. Both have a parallel twin 650cc engine. And uh, that's about it to be honest. Um, in terms of ground clearance the way they look suspension travel there are a few similarities there on the spec sheet but how they work is a very different thing altogether and the engines well they may have the same config on paper 650 cc parallel twins but uh, how they sound and how they work are very very different the Vulcan of course makes a lot more power thanks to its engine and uh, the idiot in front of us was throwing some good car something out of the car well well before starting off the review I would like to make a few disclaimers in a sense this is not the newest Vulcan that is out there um, I think this is a 2018 or something model this belongs to my friend uh, Rahul who has lent it to me for a couple of days just to make this review so thanks Rahul and uh, it's not in its stock condition there's a lot of changes made specifically to the seat and to the exhaust um, so the sound that you're hearing right now it will probably be uh, fairly different from the original note that you get from the exhaust system so keep that in mind and uh, let's kick things off in terms of uh, the usual review parts and uh, the first thing that I usually talk about on a bike is the handlebar positioning I'm six foot four I have fairly long arms and the handlebar positioning and the height of the handlebar is very comfortable for me uh, maybe a little bit higher up would have been uh, optimal but uh, this is not uncomfortable and let's gas it a little bit Woo! some air time there <laughs> yes as I was saying the handlebar position is comfortable what I don't like about the handlebar is this bend I would have liked it for it to be a little bit flatter somewhat like this because on a road like this on a wide road there's no problems whatsoever but uh, when you're turning it uh, into more uh, crowded areas where you are tilting the handlebar quite a bit then this kind of makes my wrist go into an uncomfortable position and that's something that I noticed right off the bat as soon as I picked up the bike from my friend um, second thing about the handlebar is that uh, 
there is no way i think you can modify it by putting risers or something like that as you can see the instrument cluster is based right on top of the handlebar clamp so i think uh, custom handlebar is the only way you can make adjustments now moving on to the seat i have ridden the stock vulcan as well uh, so i'm going to talk about that experience compared to this one because this one has a modded seat the stock seat on the vulcan isn't the most comfortable um, especially uh, on slightly bumpy surfaces uh, it isn't very comfortable for somebody my size and uh, it isn't comfortable for somebody who is uh, much smaller as well because another friend of mine who owns the vulcan has the stock seat and um, after 100 kilometers or so he needs to take a break thanks to that seat and i have ridden on that seat it is quite a bit less comfortable than this modded seat right here needs a little bit more padding and i think uh, when you compare it to the super meteor 650 uh, the stock seat on the super meteor is a little bit more comfortable now moving to the foot peg uh, position uh, this is where there's a lot more to speak about uh, when compared to the super meteor the super meteor comes with a fixed uh, foot peg position which is uh, slightly forward set whereas on the kawasaki you have the kawasaki ergo fit system uh, it's called maybe it's called something else i just going to put that in the subtitles basically what you can do is you can move the foot pegs forward and backward there are a couple of settings so you can get it more centrally set where the foot pegs are uh, more centrally set like a naked motorcycle or you have this current setup which i'm uh, uh, this bike is currently sporting which is the forward set foot peg and uh, for me the knee angle is uh, cruiser like the knees are open uh it's a uh, angle that's larger than 90 degrees so very very comfortable in that sense however uh, the brakes are a little bit higher than the foot pegs and uh, keeping keeping your foot on the brake ready to brake can get a little bit tiring because of the angle i'll uh, take some b roll and put it up uh, so that you guys can just check it out and understand what i'm saying apart from that the foot pegs are nice and broad and big very comfy no issues whatsoever and uh, the bike is fun to ride and uh, another point and probably the biggest point of difference is uh, the suspension the suspension on the kawasaki which of course costs a lot more than the super meteor 650 the suspension is far far better uh, it's able to handle undulations in the road small bumps much better than the super meteor the super meteor is super stiff compared to the kawasaki uh, and uh, the suspension on this has been uh, dialed in to the right preload setting uh, me and uh, rahul way almost the same maybe a gap of 5 or 10 kilos so the suspension is tuned in just right and all of these undulations that you can see on the road is just soaking up so well like i'm not feeling the kick up the butt or up the spine at all even though this is a cruiser and usually bigger impacts like this would have been felt very high up up the spine on the super meteor on the vulcan no problems whatsoever 
<laughs> That's what 60 horses can do for you. Um, the Vulcan weighs in, I think, almost similarly uh, like the Super Meteor. I'll have to check up and put the facts uh, in the subtitles. But uh, 60 horses, that's the advantage that you have and a lot more uh, torque as well on tap. So the engine capacity is the same, the, the type of engine is also the same but the way they perform is very different. Now, uh, in terms of handling, I have ridden this bike uh, on some twisties. Of course, right now it's just a straight forward highway, but uh, it handles very well uh, despite the length of the bike. It handles quite a bit. It handles quite a bit better. Uh, compared to the Super Meteor, uh, I think uh, that's also down to the tires on the bike, of course uh, the Vulcan gets much much better tires, what's this, ooh some road work happening, this patch was always pretty bad so good to see that they're working on it <laughs> used to get a lot of potholes they used to get filled up and then the potholes used to come back again so what are the big difference points between the Vulcan 650 and the Super Meteor Performance, huge difference, I think almost 30% difference in the level of performance output by the engine. The suspension is very different, much better. It absorbs bumps, smaller bumps and all and makes it very comfortable for the rider and uh, it performs better on the bigger bumps as well. In terms of uh, foot ergonomics, as I said earlier, a variable system is there where you can change the placement of the foot pegs uh, and uh, the gear lever and the brake, rear brake lever. So all of that is there. You can customize it a fair bit on the Super Meteor. You lose out on that. The seat stock seat is a little bit better on the Super Meteor, a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more wider. Um, on the Vulcan, not so comfortable, but uh, you can get it modified as it is on this seat. Again, some B-roll will show you that. And finally, the pricing. The Vulcan I think a new one will set you back 8 or lakh rupees, maybe 9 lakh rupees. Whereas uh, Super Meteor is coming in at uh, I think 4 something. So almost double the difference in pricing. And one might argue that you can get all of the issues rectified with that budget. But you will not be able to change the way this bike performs. Very very different compared to what is on offer on the 650 Super Meteor. Well. That's it on my side. If you have any questions, do ask them in the comment section. Ooh, Z900.
الكازن الكازن تو ذا and uh, as i was saying yeah if you have any questions well feel free to write them down in the comment section and i'll get back to you asap and if you want those answers pronto what you can do is uh, you can ping me on instagram uh, my id is the same tall guy rides oh a poor thing my id is tall guy rides and uh, probably the answers on instagram are a little bit more prompt and there's a different kind of content on instagram so if that's something that would interest you please do follow like share subscribe subscribe please all right bye bye